Hi, my name is Subha Garwal and I'm a math expert. And today, we're going to go over some strategies for introducing fractions. So a great way to kind of introduce fractions is through stories because kids are very engaged and they love stories. And there are some great pre-written books out there like Fraction Action by David Adler. Just fun little storybooks that kind of start incorporating. So the first thing you could do is start off with books. Second thing is through visuals because fractions can kind of be like this weird alien thing but if you draw out images and diagrams it's easier for them to understand. So let me show you a quick example of what I mean by pictures. So say we wanted them to understand what one-fourth means. What we're going to do is take a piece of paper, divide it into four pieces, and one-fourth. So that also can be written as one out of the four. So we did that right there. That's what one-fourth means. And you can do the same thing with one-half. Just to kind of help them understand what's bigger, what's smaller, the relationship between fractions. One half would be this whole thing, and of course one half is bigger than one fourth, and you can see that visually with pictures. And the third idea is just fun games and activities. So something that's fun to do is bring in a piece of pizza, a piece, an entire pizza pie. There we go. And then you can kind of help them with fractions like, hey, how many pieces is John going to get? And if he gets that many pieces, what's that fraction out of the whole? If there are eight slices, what's one out of eight? Write that as a fraction, that sort of thing. And of course, bringing your pizza into class is definitely going to get everybody's attention. And so that's a couple ideas for inducing, introducing fractions into class. Uh, my name is Suba Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.